Hey everyone, this is Vicki from Messy Table Studio with my muse for the month of July with my creative year. I don't know what has happened to me. Some alien is invading my body because I asked my husband for a very inexpensive sewing machine from Walmart so I could sew on paper. I know, it's crazy. I haven't sewn since I was in, I don't know, in my early 20s. And I'm not going to tell you how old I am now, but it's been a very long time. I was watching a video that popped up into my feed as a suggestion for me by Treasure Books. And I have just gone off the deep end. And this is the video that I watched. Hang on. I will put it down in the description box below, but let me show you what she makes. It just drove me off the deep end. She has been taking different kinds of plastic, recyclable stuff and making envelopes out of them. This is plastic from, I think, a, a cereal box. After I watched the video, I realized I did not have very much plastic, so <laughs> I went and bought my husband some cereal and said, here, eat this box of cereal. I need the liner. <laughs> so he did. And now he's bought a second one. All right, so here's this. And it's a plastic envelope, and I just used basic straight stitching on it. Um, I take the liner from whatever it is I'm using, like she did, and I washed it out, opened it up, because here's where it was, you know, glued shut. I opened it up, washed it with soap and water, dried it in the drain rack. It took a couple days because it was like, you know, kind of crumpled over. And then I got this nice big sheet, which I made into um, these lovely envelopes. And she has other things that she's made, but I wanted to show these specifically because I'm just crazy about these. Um, I'm using up stuff that I have on hand that I never use because I don't think to use it. So I actually use brads that I had stored away and uh, twine that I'd like to get rid of, but now I'm not because I'm using it. Embellishments. This is a brad, but then I glued... Did I glue that on there or did it come on there? No, that was already in there. All right, so these are brads of flowers. And there's more twine. I taught myself how to thread the machine and do the bobbin, which, I, like I said, I haven't done in like a hundred years. All right, so that's one of the projects that she's shown lately that I've just... I don't, know what's going on. I don't know what's on with me. Just... Then another one that she showed was this. Taking strips of paper and sewing them and making a type of ruffle or a ribbon. So you take the end pieces that you've cut off stuff, the leftovers, both colored and whatever you want to use. I've, I'm going to show you all the rest of them. But then you make a ruffle out of it. Well, it just so happens that I had my papers divided up into colors and whites of strips, and I made this in one sitting. I don't sew. I don't make clothes. I don't really sew, but this was so much fun. All right, so I've made that one. <laughs> Wait till you see. And then I thought, oh, well, I have coffee dyed paper. Let's try it in a different color. So then I did it with coffee dye paper. You know me. I can't make a one of something. And I tried the zigzag stitch on this one. This one is straight stitching. But then I tried zigzag on this one. And I'm like, oh, I like the way that looks. So then, <laughs> wait, there's more. <laughs> so then I thought, all right. So I ran out of the color paper. And I thought, okay, let me just do the coffee dyed. And I did the coffee dyed ruffle. And this is an extra tiny zigzag. <laughs> and here's one of the ones that I had when I still had colored strips left. I did it with white paper and this was all blue greens. And the stitch on this one is a straight stitch. And this was a very short roll because I had been making journals and cut some of the ends off and found them in the bottom of um, I had set them aside and found them in the bottom of the drawer. So I, I have a very small roll. So this is 
what I've been doing. <laughs> it makes me giggle every time I look at it. I don't know why. I don't know why paper is so funny to me. Maybe it's so funny to me that I have just gotten carried away. I don't know. I, I don't know. <laughs> I guess I don't like to sew. I hate to sew. Why am I sewing? I don't know. Some alien has invaded my body and has made me do all these crazy sewing projects. So anyway, um, then, where's the paper? I had a paper clip with this one. I guess I've lost it. All right, so there's that one. And then I see her doing pockets and envelopes and things so then I took scrapbook paper that I had left over and sewed pockets that will go inside a journal of some sort I got this from a friend this is my doodling here um, this is just an ordinary piece of scrapbook paper and then I put some artwork inside the envelope that I watched uh, Creation CC or CC's Creations and then started doing these abstract watercolors, which again, I am nuts for. I don't know anything about watercolor painting, but I know I like this. So this, anything on the back. And then I did this one, made it a bookmark. This was part of the longer piece that I just cut them in strips, like what she did in her video. Well, you know, I, I just can't stop. So then, Carla from Cage Fish gifted me a book when I met her in person. And it was a food book. So I took the pictures out of the food book and cut the shapes. And these are pockets that are going to go into a journal of some sort. So there's the grapefruit. These are, uh, this is caviar. Moon pies. It's a southern thing. Anyway, I think it is. Maybe not. I just remember eating moon pies and RC colas when I was a little kid. All right, so we got that. Candy corn. And I did this wonky shape because I was trying to follow the shape of the candy corn. This is called a quay hog. It's a kind of giant clam. And uh, Old Bay seasoning. This is a kind of cheese. That's a pocket. This is ice cream. This is honeycomb with the honey so you can eat it. And there's the pocket and there's writing on it. This is a country picture of country ham. This is a semi-soft cheese. And I left the name on there because I, I thought it was cool. And then I took some of them that had leftover text where I could use it and just made a text uh, um, pocket. So that's something else. And then, darn if she didn't come out with something else. <laughs> then she started saying, well, I'm making these little embellishments here. I'm like, oh, she's killing me. So I took some bags that I was getting rid of, the those uh, cellophane bags. I thought, well, these would be perfect. I don't have to save my cereal bags for this. I can use these cello bags. So I took flat beads that I learned to make from Jenny Belly. And I put one inside there. I need to still do this to it. I still need to put the um, eyelet in there. But I took some of the flat beads that I make that I strung together and put in a jar and walked away from and put them in here. And then I have the little hanger. These two are two flat beads again that I learned how to make from Jenny Belly. And then um, I just need to put the brads in here. I mean the brads, the um, eyelets in here. And I have the clips to go with them. Once I get them done, then they will hang on a journal somewhere, sometime. So that is what my muse is for the month of July, is going gaga <laughs> over sewing stuff. Did I mention I don't sew? <laughs> okay, so see, that's the thing is, is that um, when I see something I'm like I'm, uh, I'm like a dog with a bone I have got to try it you know all the ways I can and now I have a sewing station <laughs> I'm sorry it just amuses me because I don't know how to sew I can sew straight lines and know how to turn it and then I'm done 
That's all I know how to do. <laughs> Evidently, when you sew paper, that might be enough. So those of you who have never visited Treasure Books or CC Creation or Jenny Belly, you need to go these sites. I will list them in the description box down below so you can see these crafts because these are so awesome. I just think that this is one of the neatest things I have ever done. Um, I put this in an envelope. You can store your stuff in these envelopes. You can send this envelope inside another envelope and gift it to a friend. There's a million different things you can do with this stuff. So I suggest you go out and give it a try and see what your muse has to say about this. I'm not encouraging to go buy a sewing machine. I'm just saying. <laughs> All right, guys. I will see you next month. Bye-bye.